back to Site Tech Inner Mountain, SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I want to show you a kind of a hidden icon on the screen that as you're as building, let's say edge of asphalt, let's uh, let's say that the company sent you out, all this asphalt's been paved, but they want to get a true quantity and area to as built the edge of pass or edge of pavement to make sure that we've got the right quantities at the very end of the job site. So right here we've got a radius that comes around right here. There's a couple different ways to do it. I'll show you the way that most people do it, and then there's an icon on the screen that will allow you, as you get this information back to the office, if they're using Trimble Business Center, to allow them to already have a curve on it. And it'll it'll make it to where you don't have straight points in or straight lines in between points and get your quantity off. What I mean by this is let's say you create a brand new work order, you go into the roller stuck in the mud, which is your measure type. So in measure type, we're going to do new line, and I'm going to call this uh, the new EOP. And I'm going to leave it as a line string, not a break line, and we're going to hit accept. So I'm in state or measure mode. I'm going to come over here. What you would traditionally do as you walk this is you would take shots on all your highs and lows, but also just to get the edge. So right here at the edge of this asphalt, I would take a shot. I've got tilt compensating on, so I don't have to worry about the bubble too much. And I would take these shots as close as I can, but not too many. But on this angle, this, this turn right here, traditionally what you need to do is slow down quite a bit and take a lot more shots, right? Because in between each point is a straight line. So the more and more you take, the better. But if you need it to actually arc it out and make a smooth curve as you take these shots, this icon on the screen that has a, a, a circle looking dot at the beginning of the line and an arch to it, if you turn that on when you're actually on this radius, it won't show up on your screen. That's one thing that I hope Trimble changes. But as you take these shots now, you can take them a little further apart but the screen will show a little bit of a different icon on there. But what it's going to do when we pull this into Trimble Business Center, which I'll show you here next, it actually arches it out and makes it a best fit arc for post-processing, if you will. There again, it does not show it on your screen. But as you zoom in, you'll see that there's a little bit of a different icon on there. So if I actually hit me the menu button and hit measure to stop that line, you'll see that it goes from a normal line string, which is the solid line, into a dotted line when that icon's on. You still have the straight lines here, but I'll show you there again in Business Center how it'll curve that out. And it allows you to be quicker and faster out here on the job site recording the information, but it's going to get you proper qual uh, quantities. So let me just go back to that line. There's two different ways to go back to continue measuring it. One, you can touch and hold on it. And you can go to continue measuring right there. Or if you go back into the roller stuck in the mud, that's what this existing line is in the middle. You can go to that one right there and go back to new EOP. It's easier to just do it from the main screen. The line ends with a curve point. Do you want to continue to curve? You can say no. Um, so meaning that icon is off now. So I'm still back on the same line. We can go down through here, shoot a whole bunch of different points. When you get to this drain box up here that I'll show you, if it's not smooth curves, you can go ahead and just take the single shots on it. But this, this little drain box right here may actually require you to turn that icon back on. So you gotta remember to turn it back on. So I'm gonna hit it, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot all the way around. As soon as I get straightened back out, just turn that icon back off. When I get to this next one, I'm going to simply turn it on. Sometimes you'll end up still taking as many shots as you would have normally, but it's going to help on the post processing to smooth these out. I feel that I can still take less shots on the turns because I know what it looks like on the back end. 
But as soon as you get to here, you just turn the icon back off, continue back on.